Betty was ready to be discharged from hospital following a fall. The care Betty had received was excellent, but she was worried about what would happen after she was discharged. Betty knew what she wanted to happen, but couldn't have her say. Everyone else thought they knew what was best for her. Betty kept trying to make her voice heard. The things they were talking about and the jargon they used was just so confusing. Betty just wanted to go back to her home. Home was where Betty was happiest, where she was close to her friends and family. Home meant Betty was close to the community she'd been part of for years. Home was close to the little pond where Betty could sit and feed the ducks. Everybody thought they knew what was best for Betty and were making decisions for her. Betty didn't have a voice. Luckily, Betty met Lisa, an independent professional advocate. Lisa told Betty about her rights and talked about what Betty wanted. As an advocate, Lisa could help Betty to make her voice heard. Lisa was also able to speak up on behalf of Betty. Lisa was independent and just there for Betty to make sure that she could have a say. She knew how to navigate the system. She knew how to make sure Betty's voice was heard. Thanks to Lisa and the advocacy she provided, Betty's voice was heard. Betty felt part of the decision-making process. She felt her views mattered. People were finally listening and thanks to Lisa's help, Betty was able to get the care and support she needed so she could return to the home she loved so much. An advocate can help get your voice heard when decisions are being made about you. So make sure you ask about advocacy.